Uh, my main topic today will be how can we um, make our local communities more sustainable uh, and more engaged with the project. Ta-da. Why do we want to do it? Why do we want to um, have local communities? Um, because we want to multiply the impact of the project and also because we know that as local communities, uh, you know your uh, culture, you know your language. Uh, there's all kinds of contexts that come into play, but food remains a common language for all of us. And so we think that there is really um, a lot of benefits to create local communities that will be like little networks. So to help with this, uh, we are launching two types of grants uh, that the nonprofit Open Food Facts would make available to the community members. Um, so there's first of all the, a quick grant, which uh, means that it would finance a punctual mission. So, for instance, if you wanted to organize a local event around Open Food Facts, uh, have some kind of campaign, uh, reach out to producers in, in your town, then we will make uh, a small amount uh, available for that. And uh, also, it will be still on a voluntary um, basis, so we're not going to be paying people. It's still relying on the community members to do it as a volunteer. Thank you. Um, so there's, there's a lot of uh, detail that this will all be information available for people who are interested. Um, Yes, one of the criteria is that Open Food Facts should be clearly represented. It's not, we're not going to finance missions that are just going to serve, for instance, if you have your own project, you know. Um, there is, there will be some form of accountability in terms of providing invoices. And also we would love to have illustration of the type of events that people may create uh, because it will hopefully encourage and inspire more people to try and organize local events. And we're also leaving it open to the creativity of each one because again, each, each one knows its local context better than we do. So it's open for your imagination. Next up is a different type of grant, which is the project grant. And this will be uh, a longer term uh, uh, support. Um, so the idea here is to have some sort of a vision for creating a local community over time so not just a one-off mission. Uh, and again, it's up to you to imagine what that could look like. Um, so it's a bigger, bigger support. Um, again, there will be some accountability and, um, oh, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Uh, the, um, so the deadline for the application will be this year, I mean next year in January, end of January, and then hopefully by February, depending on who has uh, applied, we will uh, decide who to give the grant to. We, but we also may not decide to give a grant to anyone if it doesn't, if the projects don't really match the criteria. Um, then there's Raphael presenting last year. Um, and of course we would be, we, we're not putting all the responsibility on the person who will be trying to create the local community, we'll be there to back them up 
and to give as much support as we can. Again, the, the, the project that will be submitted needs to be in line with the values and the mission of Open Food Facts. And it would be amazing if it can be a sustainable project that could be carried from one year to the next, for instance, if the person um, still has time to, to take care of that project. Um, and yes, we will make this information available on the wiki pages and communicate around it, of course. Um, and so I want to leave you with the story of the dancing guy. I don't know if you already heard it. This is the guy. So um, it's a TED talk that inspired me because um, it's sometimes progress is slow in, in creating communities. Sometimes people become engaged for a season and then they move on to a different season in their life and we have less uh, support on the part of volunteers. But um, the example that was used here is that you see this one guy and he starts dancing. Um, he looks strange. Uh, it's, he had to have the courage to actually start. Uh, but eventually there is one more person who joins him. And there is, a, there is already some sort of dance moves that he's put into place. So it's a bit easier to imitate, even though the second follower still has to have some, you know, courage to step up and look a bit silly, maybe try things that may or may not work. Uh, and then eventually there will be a tipping point where it's easy for other people to join because there's already a little group. Um, in the local community, for instance. And that's how a movement is born, according to this TED Talk. So I invite you to listen to the TED Talk that is oh, there by Ted Siver, Derek Siver, sorry. And we are, if you have any ideas, even if you're not sure then you can come and see us and we'd love to hear your ideas. Thank you. So, no, we can also take questions now. I was about the Creek Grants. I was wondering, uh, I know that you're an open collective. Is that the way that uh, you'll be able to allocate the funds and people will submit receipts? That's how you plan to do it? Yes. Yes, we would need to have receipts for all the expenses, therefore we can um, um, have it for the accounting team. Just a call also to say, if you don't have questions, but we, we were happy to have some uh, feedback on this idea. It's an idea we imagined uh, some uh, months ago about doing those grants. So if you have feedback, don't hesitate also, but also in the, when we are getting coffee and so on, because it's, um, we launched this project for this year, but maybe in, uh, we can change. To, if you say, but why don't we do it in another way and so on, when we are ready to change the, the way it's... Uh. Yes, the, 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 the grants, uh, as uh, they are proposed here, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a work in progress, and so... Uh, if you have any idea to do it better, or if you think that it's the wrong way, because for any reason, uh, don't hesitate, because it's very new for us, and uh, so we, we need, we, we really need some feedbacks about it.